Hi everybody, in this video I am going to explain you what are the other career scopes for a civil engineering student after their college or after completing civil engineering B.Tech what are the things that a candidate, a person can choose from as their career scope. In this video I am going to tell you 6 career scopes definitely suitable for civil engineering graduates. Now disclaimer. This is an educational overview uh, overview video. I don't say that civil engineering students should choose these only. This is only for educational purpose. In my list, the first career scope for civil engineering student is definitely government jobs. Yes, in government, both state government also and central government also, there are huge, huge vacancies or uh, uh, opportunities for a civil engineer. You will be surprised or I think you already know that only civil engineering students will have job opportunities in government, uh, government organizations or government entities, departments. Now, what are the different job roles or what are the different departments where a civil engineering job requirement might be there or uh, a civil engineering job requirement might be published? I will, I will read down few or departments for you. The first one is Central and State Public Works Department. In short, CPWD, PWD. Second one is Public Sector Undertakings, PSUs. Railway Engineering Departments. Defense Organizations, Indian Army, Navy, Air Force. Urban Development and Municipal Corporations. Central and State Water Boards. Environment Agencies. Central and State Public Service Commissions, Housing Boards and Development Authorities, Central and State Pollution Control Boards, Central Public Health Engineering Departments, in short CPHED. Same like that, Central and State Road Transport Corporations, Government Research Institutes and Laboratories, National Highway Authorities of India, NHAI, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, Disaster Management Agencies, Educational Institutions, Rural Development Departments. These are few departments where civil engineering job roles or vacancies will be published. Now, civil engineers, I have given you some a list of uh, different departments. The list is definitely big. You will find the same information on my website career9.com blog. I have put the link of that page in the description of this video. You will find the same information in that website also for your comfort. You can check all the exams, all the information in that website as well. Lot of people may ask me, Madam, what are the different examinations for a civil engineer to apply for these job roles in these government departments? I will read out what are the different uh, government examinations a civil engineer, engineer should apply. The first one is engineering service examination in short ESE. Graduate aptitude test in engineering in short we call it as GATE. G -A -T -E. Then we have state public service commission examinations. We have PSU recruitment through GATE. Lot of organizations like P uh, BHEL, NTPC, ONGC. These organizations also hire people or fresh engineering graduates from their from uh, uh, depending on their gate score then we have railway recruitment board rrb examinations we have staff selection commission ssc we have central public work department cpwd examination defense services and last but not the least public works department examination in short pwd so these are the different uh, examinations that a civil engineering student can definitely opt for. Now the first career scope I said is government examination that most of the civil engineering students apply for. The second career objective is private jobs or I would say core jobs. Now there are many companies, big companies which hires civil engineering students. I will read out the companies that hire civil engineering freshers and these are multinational companies i have selected two two cities hyderabad because i belong to hyderabad hyderabad companies which are which hire civil engineers not only private company but few government organizations also i will read out 
and same way i have also listed out bangalore companies both private companies and government organizations also which hires civil engineers in hyderabad we have lnt then we have tata projects ramki infrastructure ncc limited shapurji palonji ivrcl gmr group mega engineering and infrastructures aparna constructions cyberabad metropolitan Depart Develop development authority cmda hyderabad metropolitan development authority hmda telangana state public works department ts pwd telangana state road transport corporation ts rtc these companies private companies and government organizations they keep on hiring fresher civil engineers or civil engineering graduates what are the companies or organization that hire from bangalore city in bangalore the number the list of uh, organizations or companies are shobha limited prestige group brigade group pura vankara limited nitesh estates embassy group bharat electronics limited bel Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL Bangalore Development Authority BDA Bangalore Metro Rail Corporation Limited BMRCL Karnataka Public Works Department KPWD Karnataka Housing Board KHB these are the companies or organizations which hires uh, civil engineering graduates now the getting into core job or getting into private company job is definitely a, a, a lot of people might be dreaming of a lot of people might be aiming to get into because they are they have done their civil engineering college for four years the same subject or the same thing they will be the same knowledge will be used in their work also so core job also lot of people opt for and if you start your career with a very big multinational company like an lnt then yes i would say your future might be safer and your career will be in the right direction get into getting into a private job is the second career scope the third career scope is it jobs now uh, getting where preparing for government jobs is not easy we all understand that right because government jobs needs lot of patience the government job notifications are not regular we all are, we all know that government process and the notification process it takes lot of time and lot of time is delayed from one notification to uh, the processing of the examinations now lot everybody will not get job in government uh, examinations right lot of people opt out of government jobs they apply for it jobs also why it jobs lot of people prefer i'll give an example before the just before it jobs i explained you about private jobs private jobs also or core jobs lot of people do not opt for because private job is also not very easy job they have to go to the site or it is a outdoor kind of job not a sitting job or a office job people have to roam around or people have to work on the site civil engineering works and things like that that definitely takes takes lot of physical stress or hard working kind of job people who do not like to do that kind of uh, core job or outdoor jobs they opt for it professions because it job high paying job sitting job you will be working from ac uh, from a comp company office and things like that it job has its own benefits and uh, uh, things uh, advantages so lot of people opt for it jobs also now big question for civil engineers what kind of it jobs are suitable i would say if a candidate if a person who has done uh, btech in civil engineering and it's been one year or two years or maximum three years they have done their graduation engineering then they can opt for any programming jobs programming jobs or they can learn start learning programming skills if they have interest in it or they are uh, passionate about technology information technologies things like that then they can definitely come to it now why i suggest all the fresher candidates to learn programming skill is programming skill is uh, definitely a lot of people lot of company will have vacancies and uh, yes multinational companies they first opt for computer science background students only but if a mechanical or if a civil engineering student who is exceptionally deserving candidate have learnt a skill to a, to an expert level those kind of candidates will also be uh, picked up or those kind of candidates will also have good option in 
uh, IT industry. So yes, if you're passionate about coding or programming or IT, then you can get into this kind of profession also. What about the career gap candidates, people who have spent three years, four years, five years for government jobs only, or they have non IT experience, can they also get into IT job? Yes, they can also get into IT job, but getting into IT job might be a bit difficult. How they can start their career in IT? They have to learn such careers for, through which they can get into get into a company as a fresher. Might be they have to compromise on the salary part or the bond service agreement part or such kind of things. But once they complete one or two years in a smaller organization with a IT skill, IT career, IT job, then they can migrate into bigger organizations. Starting might be hard for career gap candidate, but yes, if you stick to your job or if you stick to your domain for one one year or two years after that definitely you can see a very fruitful career very fruitful or good growth in your career so that is about career gap candidates so it job is a third career scope in my list for civil engineers the fourth career the fourth uh, option that usually civil engineers do is they go for higher studies in india higher studies i mean to say after doing btech they go for mtech I have also seen people, B.Tech civil engineering student choosing for MBA. So choosing MBA, getting into MBA is also a good option. When you're planning for higher studies, make sure you're, you're, clear, you're clear with your career goals also. So doing M, uh, MBA or M.Tech in India is the fourth career option that most of the civil engineers choose for. The fifth career option is doing ms in abroad like abroad i mean to say any country uh, let us take an example of us and uk lot of people after doing their btech civil here in india they they apply for uh, ms in abroad other countries they write gre depending on the score they have acquired in their gre depending on that they they get uh, i mean to say admission into different universities in us or uk and uh, they start their uh, MS. That is also a good option. I won't say doing MS in abroad is not a good option. But yes, it totally depends on their career goals. Now, the last, the sixth option, career option in my list. And I would say, yes, my favorite one also. Lot of civil engineers after their BTEC, they can also start their own business. Own business, I mean to say, they can become a freelancer. They can become an individual consultant. What will they do as a freelancer? What will they do in their business? They can start their own construction business or they can start their own um, development company. So civil development, civil engineering development company. These civil engineers, they can become a freelancer. I will give you an example. In Hyderabad, there are many big builder companies. Let us take an example of Aparna Constructions, Raj Pushpa and these kind of com companies. Now, these companies hire freelancing freelancing civil engineers or they have their own dedicated civil engineers who plan big communities communities gated communities or townships kind of thing to design those townships also they need civil engineering students or people who have knowledge or expertise in civil engineering right so these civil engineering uh, the freelancers they can definitely get into that taking get that kind of projects Owning a business is definitely not easy when it comes to civil engineering because you will be working very hard because it is your own pro own business and you will be working outdoor in the on the site and roaming and lot of uh, physical uh, stress kind of work you will be doing as a freelancer in civil engineering. But there is huge money also uh, involved with this freelancing or owning a civil engineering business because because of the urbanization or you understand like lot of lot and lot of people are migrating from villages to cities right and in cities also everybody dream to own their own houses they buy apartments they buy flats or gated they buy a home in a gated community so the craze is definitely increasing day by day and thus the requirement or the demand for civil engineers to design those kind of townships or design that kind of villas is also in demand so any civil engineering candidate who is confused like what shall i do in future i have explained you six different options that you can choose from first one is government exam preparation second one is core jobs private jobs third one is it jobs fourth one is doing PG in India, fifth one is doing PG in abroad and the sixth one, last one, my favorite one is owning your 
uh, starting a new business starting your own business so these are the six options which one is your favorite let me know in the comment section of this video the same information the government exams the government departments which hires for uh, all the, the civil engineers and everything whatever i have explained you in this video i have also put the same information on my website blog i will put the link of that website blog in the description of this video click that link go to that page read the content same information uh, same information you can check out check out there as well so yes if you're watching this video for the first time please like and subscribe and if you are already following my videos then and if you find if you find this video useful and good content then please share this video with your friends and family members also where will you share this video on whatsapp group telegram group linkedin instagram facebook everywhere you can share this video with your friends and uh, network friends and contacts also thank you so much please do subscribe do not forget to click that bell icon for regular job and career related updates thank you so much my name is sushmita madhu and this is my english channel all the best namaste